to share with you guys, you know, the do's and don'ts of really getting your MEMA business up and running. And I'm going to go ahead and start out with what not to do. You know, so many people, they, they jump on board, they get excited, and they immediately ruin their credibility. They ruin all chances of being successful by just doing a few simple things that honestly seem natural to do. And so I want to talk about those real fast to make sure that you guys set yourselves up for success to make sure you don't have to go through the trouble and the hardship that a lot of people went through uh, in this company to be successful. So, you know, number one, don't blast this all over Facebook. Don't don't get excited and, and get on Facebook and, and blast out there. Hey, go check out my, my website, jeffreyjensen.vima.com. Order product today. Join my team. You know, blah, 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 because you're literally going to turn people off. It's like, you know, Facebook spamming. No one wants that. Don't send out a mass text message to your friends, you know, because people are going to look at that as, as, once again, you're just trying to scam them. You're trying to get them on board with something. You know, there's no, uh, you know, no personal touch to it. They, they can't understand that you're excited. They don't know what you're talking about. And so, you know, stay away from Facebook. Stay away from text messaging, mass texting. And, uh, and if you'll really follow the system that I'm going to lay out for you right now, uh, I truly believe that anyone can be successful given enough uh, time and enough uh, effort. You can really turn this thing into a full-time income and, and take it to six figures like I have or, or even seven figures and beyond like so many other people have done. So, you know, step number one uh, is your why. You know, if, if, if I don't have to say get excited, if, if you join, you're probably pumped up, you're excited about this opportunity. So step number one is your why. Figure out why you're doing this, you know. Not just, oh, I want to make some extra money, because if, if you're just in this to make some extra money, then this probably isn't isn't for you. You know, maybe go get a part-time job, you know, McDonald's make an extra eight bucks an hour, 20 hours a week, but if you're really looking to change your life financially for your future, if you're looking to help others, if you're looking to, to really do something big with your life, then that's what Beam is all about. That's what we're here to do. We're here to make people's lives better. And so your why has to be something from deep within, you know, it could be the fact that you don't want to ever have to work a job. You don't want to be told when to show up, when to go home, when to eat lunch, when to go on vacation. Maybe you want to retire your mom and dad. Maybe your parents have been working, you know, since you're a child and, and you want to see them have the life that they deserve. Maybe you have friends that they can't find work. Maybe they have a college degree and they're unemployed or they're working minimum wage or serving tables and you want to help them get out of their situation. So figure out why you're doing this. Figure out that deep reason, that reason that's going to get you up every morning, that's going to help you to really pursue your goals and your dreams. You know, step number two is your goals. You, you have to have your goals. You know, if, if, if you don't have your goals written down, if you don't have them on paper, if you can't visualize them, they're never going to come true. And that sounds so cheesy, but I'm telling you what, you write your goals down, you keep them in front of you every single day, it's amazing what's going to happen when you really start to focus in uh, on what you're doing. So I always tell people, you know, make a one month goal. Start out, figure out what you want to be. Go uh, to Google, look up BEMA rank advancement chart, print it off, you know, keep it in front of you, put it on the background of your phone, background of your computer, stick it up by your desk, put it in your bathroom, on your mirror, wherever. Just keep it in front of you and figure out your one month goal. Where do you want to be? Do you want to be bronze? Do you want to be silver? Do you want to be gold? Do you want to be diamond? You know, figure out what you want to do in your first 30 days. And then figure out your next goal. Figure out a 90 day goal. Where do you want to be three months from now? Then a six month goal. And then a yearly goal. And if you can have all those goals, you want to have good short term goals, but you also want to have big goals. You want to have long term goals, goals that scare you. If your goals don't scare you and excite you at the same time, then they're not big enough. You're not dreaming big enough. So, so make sure you write down your goals. You know, one month, three months, six months, 12 month goals. You know, step number three, this is the most important. This is the key to the vault. This is what's going to separate you from, from someone else who's not as successful, and that's your list. You have to have a list. You know, I say a minimum of 100 to 200 people. Write it out. Get out a pencil, get out a sheet of paper, you know, do it on your computer, but whatever. Have a physical list that you can go back to with names and phone numbers of people that you want to talk to, and, and hear me out. Don't prejudge anybody. You don't know what you don't know. There's going to be so many people that you come 
come across that you may meet that you might think, wow, this person, you know, they probably wouldn't really be good at this FEMA thing. Maybe they're introverted. Maybe they don't really know a lot of people. And, and you're going to prejudge them and you're going to skip right by them. And I can promise you if you do that, you're going to miss out on several, several people that can literally change your life while changing their life. And so don't prejudge people, you know. Make sure you write down every single person you know. My brother is an executive leader. He's been absolutely crushing this thing. And, and he went back to his high school yearbook and started looking up names because he wanted to find more people that he could help. So, you know, go through Facebook, phone book, pull out your yearbook, you know, figure out people that you want to talk to. And guys, we're, we're not looking for everyone. Not everyone's going to do this. Not everyone is looking for what we're looking for, but it's a sorting process. You're literally sorting through. It's like having a deck of cards. You know, there's four aces in every deck of cards. You shuffle long enough, you're gonna find all four aces. And that's the same thing that we're doing here with Bima. You're literally sorting through people, trying to find people that are like-minded, that are goal-driven, that want something more out of life. They don't wanna just work a nine to five until they're you know, 60 or 70 years old. They wanna be their own boss, they wanna be an entrepreneur, but they haven't found a vehicle to do it yet. And so you're literally just sorting through people. So talk to everybody. You know, Every single person that you know is a prospect. Make sure you talk to them, make sure you give them the opportunity to really get this thing started. You know, after you've made your list, the next step really is, is you gotta learn how to invite people the right way. And you know, I'm gonna have a video underneath this one that you can check out on how to invite. I'll go into to more detailed explanation on the exact way uh, to invite your friends to learn about this opportunity. But once you master the invitation process, you've just gotta take action. So guys, get out there, take action. You know, make sure you follow those steps. Don't don't go on Facebook, don't blast it all over, no mass text messaging. Do everything you can in person or, or through the phone. Follow these steps, stay plugged in to, to my YouTube page for more videos on how to build this business. Check out www.yprtraining.com for great information on how to build your business, different videos to use, and also guys, check below the link, I'll have the, the calls that we do all those numbers and stuff underneath this video post. So stay plugged in, take action, and really get out there. This business is up to you. It's not your upline's fault, it's not your downline's fault. If it doesn't work for you, it's your fault. If you wanna be successful in this thing, literally follow the system, take action, and you can make it happen. It takes time, it's not gonna happen overnight. This is not a get rich quick. It is a get rich, it's not a get rich quick. It's going to take time, it's going to take consistent effort, and for the ones who share the story the most, you will be successful. You'll have the success story. And when you first get started, you know, utilize your upline. Really lean on them for support and use their story. But as you grow in this business, as you've been in for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, start to develop your own story. Start to, to put together what you're gonna start talking to your friends about. And it doesn't, your story doesn't have to be about the money you've made. Your story can be about anything that's relatable with inside of Vima. So start to create your story and master sharing your story with people. You know, the people who are the most successful in this business are the ones who are great storytellers. They're the ones who have been doing this longer and they've shared their story more and that's the reason that they're having the success that they're having. It's all about sharing your story. And so if you can do that, if you can master sharing your story, you're gonna be successful.